Hi, my mature ladies. This is Susan Davis with Prairie Girl Lifestyle. Today I'm going to do a whole tutorial, get ready with me from start to finish. I'm going to do a spring look with the tart palette, the uh, tartlet, tartlet palette. I love this palette. It's all matte and it's got some nice light colors that we can choose from that are springy. Spring is almost here. It's starting to warm up. So I'll be showing you how I put my makeup on, my eyeshadow, specifically eyeshadows on aging eyes. I'll show you the brushes I use and some of the tips or some of the uh, tricks I use to get the eyeshadow on my aging eyes. So if you want to see how I do all that and see the final look, then watch this video. Thanks. Alright, the first thing I like to do is put on a primer. Today I'm using Too Faced Hangover. I apply this with my fingers. I've already done my anti-aging skin routine, which I faithfully do morning and night, which has helped moisturize my dry skin. But this primer just puts another layer of moisture on my skin and I just can't get enough moisture on my skin. Then today for foundation I'm going to be using Laura Geller Baked Liquid Radiance Foundation in the color light. And I just love Laura Geller's products. I'm going to be applying my foundation with this nice big fluffy brush by IT Cosmetics. I like to use just soft circular motions back and forth to apply my foundation. I find that the big fluffy soft brush lays down the foundation well on my older skin and really works it in, you know, I really work to get it into my skin and lay it down nice. Plus, that nice soft brush feels good too. Since I'm wearing a top where you can see my neck, I run that foundation down my neck. Try to even out the skin tone. The other thing that's nice about these foundations are they're built, they are buildable. So if, if, if you want more coverage, you put on more foundation. I like the Laura Geller because of the consistency. It's thicker than the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. And I like more of a full coverage because of the sun damage on my face. My next step would be to put on some highlighter. Today I'm using L'Oreal True Match. And I like this, um, I like this L'Oreal True Match because it has a little brush to apply the highlighter. I like that. It goes on better. And I'm just going to put it in this V shape to highlight this area of my face. I like to then take a beauty sponge to blend that into my skin. I find that sponge works really good for this delicate area. The next step would be to put on some eye primer and today I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the color Eden. I go lightly with this. I don't put a whole lot on because of my sagging thin skin on my eyes. I pat that in with my fingers all over. This lays down a nice foundation for my eyeshadow to come and it also evens out my skin tone and covers up spots that I have on my skin. And then I go back to my beauty sponge and just lightly pat all over that primer to make sure it's not wanting to get in my creases of my eyes, especially here in the corner. 
Okay, now that I've got all the liquid on my face, my liquid foundation, my liquid highlighter, my liquid eye primer, I'm going to set all this with a powder. And today I'm using Laura Geller's uh, Matte Maker Blotting Powder. Just about out of it. I like it that much. And I'm applying it with this beautiful soft brush from Tarte. I just bought it and I love it. So soft. Okay, the next step would be to put some bronzer on. I'm going to contour my face a little bit, add some more color to it. And today I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I love Benefit's products. They're really good. And this is such a cute little cute little packaging. It comes in this cute little box with a mirror. And I love this brush. This hula is a matte as well, which is good for us mature ladies. So I like to just lay that flat side of the brush here. And then I can turn it like this to bring the color down. Put some on my forehead. Warm up my face with this. I can apply this with this brush on the sides of my nose. And then run it along my jawline to give the illusion that I have a jawline. Us mature ladies all the, need all the help we can get on making it look like we have a jawline. Mine doesn't look so bad from the front view, but if you see me from this side, I have this saggy skin and not like it used to be. Okay, next thing is blush. Today I'm using Too Faced. Their Sweetheart line. Now this is Sweetheart's Perfect Flush Blush. I'm going to use this brush to apply my blush. I like this color. It's a little darker pink, so it shows up good on my skin. And I apply my blush underneath my cheekbone and run it up on my temple. I want to keep this area open to give my face the appearance or the illusion that it's lifted. I don't want to put a bunch of dark up here. It would drag my face down. Okay, so to blend my blush and my contouring, I use this nice big fluffy brush again and lightly go over those colors so you can't see any line. Okay, to save time, I put my eyebrows on. I have to do that in my magnification mirror. I have a 10 time magnification mirror that works really good on getting in there real close. Uh, I do use, right now, I am using the Anastasia Brow Pomade on my eyebrows. I apply it with this brush here. I really like this pomade because again it's moisturizing fills in nicely I like it okay we're ready for eyeshadow we're going to go with some nice soft colors and try to come up with a nice soft look for spring using pinks so the first thing I like to do is just create a base of powder over my eye and I'm going to use this light cream color here. It's called Super Mom. And I'm just going to pat that all over my lid and up here again to make a nice base for the color to come and cover up those age spots I have. 
All right, next color I'm going to put on is this color here. It's called Force of Nature. I'm going to take an eye brush like that and I'm going to start up way high to create this illusion that my I have a crease. Because here's the thing. I'll zoom in. I have to start up high like this because my eyes are so hooded and the skin is saggy. If I don't start up high, I mean you can't even see the color in my crease. So I've got to start way up high. To create this illusion that I do have a lid to show. It's all an illusion, yes, that's what we're working on. Okay, I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going with a smaller brush. I'm going to go into this color right here, Natural Beauty. And I'm going to lay that in my actual crease. And what I like to do is lay this brush flat here on the corner so I get the majority of the color here and then I turn it to, so it's skinny and pull that color into my crease. I find that works really good on these hooded eyes that your skin wants to move all around. Then I take a, a clean, soft eye brush and I blend that. Go right over that crease color and blend. Very lightly, ladies. Very light touch. I'm barely touching my skin with this because I don't want to move this loose skin all around. I'm going to put another layer of that on, that same crease color. And blend. Then I'll go back to that lightest color, Force of Nature, and go over just the top of that crease to blend these colors together. Okay, then I'm going to work on my outer V. And I'm going to use this color called Best Friend. I'm going to take a pencil brush, kind of a dense brush, and I find it's easiest for me to apply this color in my corner by just patting it on. Again, because the skin is loose, I don't want to drag it around. Back to my clean blending brush. And this time I'm keeping my brush right over the top of that dark color. Because I don't want I don't want that dark color going anywhere but right here. Okay, now, I know I have a fallout. I've got this dark shadow coming down here and it's making my eyes look droopy, but we're gonna take care of that, so don't you worry. Okay, so I'm going to put some color under my eye and I'm gonna go with a brush like this, thin, small. Go into the natural beauty color which is the color I put in my crease and run it down here on the bottom of my eye. To start putting some color down underneath there. And then I'll go with the best friend color, which is my V color and put that down here. But just go halfway. And then I can run that color up into this V. Okay, then I'm going to go back into that first color I put on my eyes called Super Mom, the light cream, and pat that on my lid here. But I'm not covering that up. 
just here in the middle and corner. If I want to add a little pop of color on my lids, what I like to do is put this uh, Urban Decay shimmer color on. It's called Polyester Bride. Because I find that as the day goes on, this color fades. So I take my flat brush and put a little, a little of that here. I can take a little of that dark color just to blend that a little bit there on my lid. And I can also put that Polyester Bride right up here as a highlight. Doesn't take much. It's pretty pigmented. Blend that. Okay, I'm going to put some eyeliner on next. And today I'm using Laura Geller Incredible Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. And this is black. And what I find when I apply my eyeliner is, and I don't want a big black line there, I just pull my eye and put this over the top of my eyelash and run it over my eyelash and bump it right up against my lid. And what that does is it puts a nice little small black line there and it also puts it in my waterline down there. And if you have some fallout underneath here, we'll, we'll clean that up in a minute. So let me know what's working for you on eyeliner because I have yet to find one that I absolutely love. Okay, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I think curling our eyelashes and putting on mascara as aging ladies is one of the things that we can do to really draw focus to our eyes. Okay, so for mascara today I'm using Benefit Roller Lash. I absolutely love Benefit's mascara. I don't care what kind it is, I think they're all really good. This one has a little curling wand and it curls your eyelashes really nice. I don't, I don't put mascara on my lower lashes because I find, you know, with my aging skin, that the uh, mascara gets down here on this crepey, wrinkly skin. And I just fight it all the time, so I just don't put any down there at all. Now I have some fallout. I've got some eyeliner down here and some eyeshadow that needs to be cleaned up. I like to go back to my highlighter. I'll go back to my uh, L'Oreal True Match highlighter and put a little of that underneath my eye right here. and then take my beauty sponge and clean this up and make sure that I don't have any uh, eye makeup down below this line here because I want my eyes to be look lifted I don't want product down in here for my lips I'm going to start with a NYX lip liner This is uh, called Ever, the color Ever, it's kind of a rusty brown. And then for my lip color, I'm going with the Urban Decay. This is a brand new lipstick by Urban Decay. It's called Bittersweet and it looks purple, but when I put it on my lips, it changes colors. It turns into a very beautiful pink. And then I'm going to put a lip gloss over the top of that. I'm going with a Laura Geller color drenched lip gloss in the color sugar cookie
which putting that lip gloss on now kind of changes the lip color to a softer pink. Okay, I'm going to take my hair down and come back. Okay, ladies, this is the finished look. I have my hair down now and my makeup on, my put some earrings on. So I'll get in here close so you can see my eyes. I've used the soft pink colors for spring and I really like this look. It's a nice warm look. Beautiful pinks and purples. And then pink lipstick for spring. I have pink in my shirt. I hope you've enjoyed this look with using the softer colors in the Tartlet palette. I'll do some more tutorials on uh, that Tartlet palette. It's all matte and I really like those shades. They're just gorgeous. So you have a great day. Please subscribe to my channel and we'll see you soon. Bye.